Welcome back to AIM Apple. Are you tired of losing track of your expenses? Well, today's video is here to change that. We're diving into Apple numbers to create a simple, yet powerful expense tracking spreadsheet that anyone can use. No complex formulas, just an easy, step-by-step -step guide to take control of your finances. Stick around, you won't want to miss this. First, let's open numbers and start a new document. Choose the blank template to start from scratch. Numbers documents contain different sheets. You'll start with just one. Each sheet can have multiple tables. In this template, there's a sample table, which we'll use to create our expenses journal. A common mistake when tracking expenses is separating months or years into different tables or sheets. This makes it harder to calculate totals across time periods. Instead, we'll keep everything in one table on a single sheet. This way, all your data forms one database, making it easier to perform calculations later. First, we'll get rid of the header column, which we don't need in this context. Go to Format, click Table on the right sidebar and set the number of header columns to zero. We'll keep the header row to identify each column. Here's the layout we'll use. Number one, date. Number two, description for the expense. Number three, amount. Number four, category, such as housing, clothing, travel. And number five, notes, optional for additional details. You can delete the extra columns by selecting them, holding down the shift key, and using the little down arrow to choose delete selected columns. Resize the columns as needed by dragging the lines between column headers. Give this table a name like Expenses Journal. You can do the same for the sheet since it only contains this table. Now, let's format the cells. Click the column letter at the top to select an entire column, then go to Format and click Cell on the right sidebar. For the Date column, choose Date and Time Format. Then select your preferred date format. We won't need time, so set that to None. For the Amount column, set the format to Currency with two decimal places and a thousand separators. The Description and Notes columns can remain as regular text. For the Category column, keep it as automatic text input. When you add a new row, enter the date, description, amount, category, and any notes. Keep your category list simple. Having too many categories makes it harder to analyze your expenses. Aim for 7 to 10 categories, like food, housing, travel, etc. If you want to sort the table, click the down arrow next to the column letter, for example, date, and choose Sort Ascending. This arranges the data from the earliest to the latest date. To view totals for different months or categories, you can create another table or use filters. However, the easiest way is to use pivot tables. Click any cell in your expenses table and select pivot table from the top toolbar. A new sheet with the pivot table will appear. In the right sidebar, you'll see options to add columns, rows, and values. Drag date to rows and category to columns. Then drag amount to values. To group by month, Click the I button next to date and choose year month. Now you have a pivot table showing your expenses by category for each month. You can create multiple pivot tables to view your data in different ways. For example, create a new pivot table to show totals by category for each year. In the pivot table, use the filter option to add filters. You can filter by date range or category to narrow down your data. To view only selected categories, go to the Organize tab in the Pivot table, add a filter for Category, and use the checkboxes to select or deselect categories. This allows you to customize your view to focus on specific areas of your spending. That's a simple way to keep track of your expenses in a spreadsheet using Apple Numbers. By using a single table and leveraging pivot tables, you can easily analyze your expenses across different time periods and categories. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. 
If yes, drop a comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.